Okay, uh, a look at uh, a few kind of triangle questions to do with trigonometry. Here we go. So triangle ABC has AB equals 5, BC equals 6, an area of 10 centimeters. Find the angle, um, find sine of B. Um, whenever you get this kind of question, start with a little sketch. So that is going to be B, that's going to be A, and that is C. We're trying to find this angle here. We've got that is 5. We've got that as 6. Um, and we're using the, the general formula for the area of the triangle, which is a half AB sine C, where the A and the B are the, the two accompanying sides, either side of the angle in the middle. So in this particular case, we're going to get a half times 5 times 6 times sine of angle B. And we've already been told that the area, so this is equal to 10. OK, so all, all we need to do is just rearrange that. And we'll end up with sine B is equal to 2 thirds. OK, uh, and then the second part, it says hence. So we have to use that result from the first part. You know that sine B is 2 thirds. So again, we do a little sketch of a triangle. Now, sine theta sine equals opposite over hypotenuse so, so if this was our theta here we'd have opposite of 2 hypotenuse of 3 so therefore to find this missing side here we would do what, 3 squared equals 2 squared plus let's call it x squared so that's going to be uh, root 5 is equal to x. Okay, so we found out what x is equal to. Um, and because we're going to have more than one possible answer, we can have the plus or minus there. Um, and therefore, if we want to... Well, let's look at what we're going to try and find out. We're going to try and find out this ac here. Well, if we're going to find AC, we're probably going to be using uh, the cosine rule. Um, and our cosine rule says, um, well, the AC squared equals BC squared. Minus times BC times OK, so I'm basically just using the cosine rule um, in that form there. So yeah, so I actually could do with finding out what, what cos b is equal to. Well, now I've got this triangle here, I can find out what cos b is equal to. So if I remember that cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, so therefore cos theta is equal to plus or minus root 5 over 3. OK, so I've got, um, in this case here, this is, is going to be cos b plus or minus root 5 over 3. Um, now I've got all this information, I can put it into, into this equation here. Um, ac squared, that's what I'm trying to find out. So ac squared is going to be uh, we've got 5 squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times 5 times 6 times cos b five squared plus 6 squared minus 2 times 5 times 6 times and we've got two possible answers here, plus or minus root 5 over 3. OK, uh, and then it's just a case of, of working out those two possibilities. So I, I try it once, and I have the positive, and I do it once when I've got the negative, and that's going to give me two possible answers where AC is either equal to 
4.03 or 10.28 okay next question um, again let's sketch out a triangle and in this case here we've got A B and C you know that this length is 9 this length is 12 this angle here is twice as big as this angle here so let's call that 2x and x now if we if we start on this one um, we've got two sides and two angles so if we try and start off with the sine rule we've got 9 over sine x is equal to 12 over sine 2x now I could rewrite that as 9 over sine x equals 12 over 2 sine x cos x just using the double angle formula now if I rearrange this I'm going to get 9 2 sine x cos x equals 12 sine x and again if I take everything to one side I'm going to finish up with 6 sine x and I'll factorize it so I've got 3 cos x minus 2 is equal to 0 so just just rearranging then factorizing um, now the only way that this can be 0 well sine x can't be equal to zero because if you think about the graph of sine x that's only going to be zero at, at zero or in this case here 180 degrees well we can't have x of 180 degrees so therefore we can't have sine x equals zero so therefore the bit that's making it zero must be 3 cos x minus 2 must be equal to zero therefore cos x equals two-thirds okay and there we go that's it the cosine of, of C well there we go that's it two-thirds okay uh, next question um, angle ABC uh, sorry triangle ABC and we've been given the information uh, as written um, probably the first step is if, if we use that 5 there and we use that 7 there and we use that angle that angle we can use the sine rule so we can have sine c over 7 is equal to sine 40 over 5 so therefore I can find out that C is going to be 64.14 degrees um, and I can write that in there so 64.14 dot 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 now the thing to notice here is that it's an isosceles triangle because that's 5 and that's 5 therefore this is also 64.14 and as maybe where whenever I've got an isosceles triangle I can just split it up into along the middle and then I have a right angle here um, and then I can just use Sokotoa so if this is the angle here this is the height and this is the adjacent so I've got uh, adjacent and height so I'm going to use cos theta equals adjacent over hype so therefore cos 64.14 is equal to adjacent over 5 therefore right down here so 5 cos 64.14 equals this adjacent bit here and then all I need to remember is to times that answer by 2 um, and if I do that 
I'm going to get the length of CD is equal to 4.36. Okay, and again, there's, there's all sorts of different ways of doing that. That is probably the quickest way to do it. 